Hey Danny, uh, seems you had a good trip out last time uh, in the winter. We figured we'd try to get you out and do a moose hunt. Uh, take you around to all of our all of our hunting spots and see if we can, we can hook you up on some moose. Another great time on Kippen's Reach. Yeah, for sure. So we're on the TCH, going to my next adventure. Just got a real good text from Malcolm. He's giving me directions to Kippen Ridge because I haven't got a clue where I'm going. I know past Deer Lake and then it gets a little tricky. So uh, I'm off to Deer Lake and then following directions for Kippen's Ridge. Newfoundland and Labrador is rich in natural beauty and wildlife, especially the majestic moose. Today, I'm heading back to Kippen's Ridge to tag along with the boys for a moose hunt. So I'm just waking up here now, my Kippen's Ridge is so great to be back. Had a really great sleep in the RV, slept like a baby after that highway drive and it's just nice to be back on the road again. So uh, I'm gonna have a big old breakfast and wait for the boys to come and you know, I'm gonna have a special moose breakfast. Gotta get the last few beans out. And this is the thing, huh? The camp stove toaster. Right? You always put it on four pieces of toast because you never know when you're going to have company. Let's get cooking. And be merry. There we go. <laughs> it is all lit up. You're looking good already. Woo! Oh, merciful Lord. The heavens, the heavens are calling. I got to, that means I got to turn it down. In the night. Oh, a bit of butter. Any kind of burn, Nan used to put butter on it. Right, it's fine now. Oh, merciful heavens. Oh, time to eat. Now the townies eat their toast like this, right? Oh, we go. But the Baymans eat their toast and beans like this. Mmm, <laughs> oh, that is good. Mmm, very fine. Yeah. Well, here the bar's coming now. Gonna have my last cup of tea. Hunting. I can't wait. All ready for the hunt. Hey, boys. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hi. How you doing? How are you? How you doing? Nice to see you again. Yeah. Nice to be back on the ridge. Okay, so this is Chris Roberts. He's going to be your guide for today. He's the expert over on the ridge. I don't consider myself a moose expert. I've just been at it ever since I was uh, 12, 13 years old hunting with my brothers, and I've spent a lot of time here. So I guess if that makes me an expert, but there's a lot of us here that have spent a lot of time on this ridge and know it like the back of our hand. So, so what's the plan today? Yeah, we're going to get on the bikes in a little while now. We're going to head in over the ridge, you know, over Kittens Ridge, go in some of the woods roads and look around, see if we can spot a moose. And no guarantees. The weather's not great. There's a bit of wind, and uh, uh, it's a bit uh, rainy and that kind of stuff, though. But uh, you never know. It's, it's moose hunting and it's not grocery shopping. <laughs> no moose yet, boy. 
Yes, but I got a feeling we're going to see one. Always sees moose cross here. Nope. No luck. Let's go somewhere else. I'll go somewhere else. Yep. Yeah, we're looking for a white albino moose. White. <laughs> it's gonna be a tough one, I think. You're lucky to get a moose. Let's see, see a brown moose. <laughs> We were stopping down at the bottom of Badger Bay for a quick snack and some target practice. Yeah, it's a great spot. Nice, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Sun is shining now, real nice. Badger Bay. Badger Bay? Bottom, yeah, this is what we call the bottom of Badger Bay. Here we go. Come on in, Tony. It's nice and cozy in here, in the middle of the woods, you know, the boys got a nice uh, yeah. cabin that anyone can come in. They're always like open doors, so, you know, free for all. Anyone want to come in and have a fire, you know? That's the cool thing about Newfoundland. Everyone shares. This is what you call a rudimentary log book right here. <laughs> Paper towel. That does the trick. How's it say? Um, me and the boys, uh, we're up here. Came in the in the in the side by side. It was a little rough. Uh, we got snowed in, and we were at this point we were staying tonight. Hopefully, we were going to make it home. <laughs> All right, let's put it on the stove, boys. Bubbling the way, blowing the way on the stove. Yep. Won't take long now. Cool. What's your favorite thing about going out in the woods? Well, I just like being out in out in the well, with me buddies, it's good. I mean, it's fun by itself, but it's good when you got friends to go with yeah. hunting and stuff. How about you, Malcolm? Oh, I enjoy it all, but the best part is lunch. lunch <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, enjoy it. Best way right off the stove. Okay, moose, canned moose. Oh my God. That's mine. That's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm uh, going to go shoot some guns now, am I? Yep, we're going to do a little bit of target practice now for you to uh, see how good you are with the rifles. All right, what am I shooting? Pew, pew. See if Danny can hit that. See it good from there? Small caliber 22. And a medium caliber 22, 250. I don't think I've ever shot a gun. Yeah, we're definitely moving the bikes now. Oh, no. Definitely good. moving the bikes now, yeah. <laughs> well, first time for everything. Yeah. 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 She's ready, ready to fire. Do you know yeah. ready to oh, okay. Don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready. So I was like, God, I, you know, that's all I want now is to be a failure and not hit, you know, in between the bullseyes or around the circle. Oh, better shot than Malcolm. <laughs> yes, sir. So just take your time and see if you can get a... Uh, Another bullseye. Another bullseye. Different see if you scope. Can, a little different scope. A little different scope. <laughs> but I did, I got uh, a couple of bullseyes dead on, but I'm real proud of myself. So how did I do? Not too bad. Uh, this was your first shot with the uh, 22 caliber. Okay. This was your second shot. Okay. And this was your third shot. Cool. Then when you shot the 22 250, here was your first shot. Yeah. And there was your second shot. <laughs> right, cool. But all in all, Donnie, yeah. that's not bad. Yeah, no, oh, no, no. All within a six inch radius. Yeah. Those yeah. here. I got two. Uh, Two kind of bullseyes, sure. Two kind of bullseyes, yeah. Sure. You wouldn't have been moose. You would have, yeah. 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 Now, it's time to get back on the moose hunt. I have my camera, and I'm really hoping to see some moose to make a moose calendar. The rain has stopped now. You might see a moose. They're getting out to dry off. We're going to go up here now. The boys say there's a few mooses up here, and we're going to go and check it out, see if we can spot any. I'm going to hike it in from here. I'm gonna grab my camera and uh, go take some pictures and yeah. See if we can spot some loose for the calendar. If I get dirty, he ain't doing it right. 
see who can do the best moose call up here, no? Ah. <laughs> now you gotta use your hand. Ah. Here we are, boy. Big country. Yes, sir. Oh. So what I'm starting to learn about moose hunting is, when there's no moose, the boys love to sit around and eat and tell stories. It's actually pretty fun. So we're going deep in the woods now. The boys got a little fort down there and they're lighting up a fire and we're gonna have some, uh, some, uh, I don't know what we're gonna have. Some fish and some uh, moose, I guess, because all the boys are eating moose. We're just gonna chill out and have a fire and uh, just relax in the woods. Nothing like it. Hi, right, there you go. You can have the hunters leading the fire. All right. Matches are really can you uh, work a book of matches? Yeah. <laughs> No moose on the go yet? No, they're still come out now. Maybe they're having their uh, their lunch break as well. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about moose hunting, Donnie, you don't know when they're gonna pop out. Yeah. Been at this long enough now, you just go along and once out of nowhere. At least you expect the most hunt. Be gone is probably put away. <laughs> yeah. Well, just to be out here doing this is sure this is awesome. What's going on for supper, boys? Got some corn fish on there now with some onion and butter. Got some moose sausage there ready to go. Uh, some smoked trout and salmon. Wow. That's nice. That's a great old scow. Cheers, boys. Cup of tea in the woods. Cup of tea in a big old scow in the woods. Not bad. There you go, Donnie. Honey garlic moose sausage. Really? Honey garlic moose sausage. Well, gentle Moses in the woods. <laughs> some good? They're delicious. Corn fish, show you. Yeah, we take the plate now. This one. Put it right on you. They're good, Mel. Mmm, hi. Oh my gosh. That's delicious. What is corn fish? Cornfish is fresh fish caught in the water, uh, soaked in a brine solution for about an hour, 45 minutes. And you just wrap it up in, in uh, plastic, put it in the fridge, mm. and it keeps that salty flavor when either you, you cook it on a fire or you boil it in a pot. Let's get some already sausage. It's just, it's just salted fish. Yeah. Not, not traditional dried and salted, it's just salted and put away in the fridge, fresh. I was going to say, Dahlia, it wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Last piece. You skin that, Lucas. That's right. Huh? Newbies are good, man. Fish on the fire. My moose call. Oh, there was this. Oh. Oh, it's, more, it's more nasal. It's out to your nose. Uh, there you go. Uh, uh, like you're, like uh, you're uh, Any minute, we're going to have a flock of duck. Uh, <laughs> flock of duck. <laughs> you got some uh, smoked yeah. salmon and smoked yeah. trout on there, no? Jeez, boy, I know you can't put off a feast in the woods. You know, out here, you can turn a sausage just by rolling. <laughs> you even got it all figured out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, you gave me a fork, if I, so it kind of threw me off guard. And can we use that one? Yeah. I knew when he, he gave you the fork, it was going to be way out of your lead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After an amazing feast, me and Lucas went down to look for more moose. Hey, Donnie, this seems like you could spot to try a few moose calls. What do you think? Moose calls? Yeah, okay. you can see the best moose call. Uh, it's all through your nose, remember? Uh, 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 not bad. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not the best at moose calling, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, uh, uh. Look. 
Wow, that was cool. Finally a moose. And a great picture for my calendar. Yeah, we're going to Alamo's now to can up some moose, so can't wait to learn how to do that. But uh, look at all the birch around, hey? Yeah, you don't get that now. Ah, that's like gold off. So we're uh, gonna can up some moose? Yeah, we certainly are. Fresh moose going in the can, preserved for the winter. So what we're gonna be doing first now, Donnie, our first uh, ingredients that's gonna go in the can is a piece of pork about this size. Mm -hmm. Lay it in the bottom of the can. Just one? Each of them, yeah. Okay. And this is to add the flavor, so we're just gonna be dropping that onto the pork. All right. We don't want too much, I and mean, we don't want too little. That's a little much. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, you're gonna get that can, because he's gonna be soft. <laughs> Just grab a hold of it. I mean, just, just did. Like, yeah, well, just yeah. a small handful. Don't be afraid of it. It's, it's of it. already did. Good chunk of onion, and we're gonna top that off now with uh, some more mousse. Oh, right. Jeez. Fill her up. Yeah. That's Pu a fine push it down. meal, boss. Mm. We gotta push it down on, on the sides and just to fill up the can. Cause yeah. What we would do then, Donnie, is uh. put a little bit of water, and Donnie, here's a lid to place on the top of it. Yeah. So that's how, that's how it works, and now we got another uh, 48 to do, Donnie. This is my great great grandfather's. And you're gonna watch this wheel, the first one now, interacting with the can, and the other wheel is gonna do the finishing touches. And that's where it gets a little harder. It is where you sort of gets muscled up a little more when you're doing these things. And that's it. That's the finish. Pop the bottom out now and. Have a look at your can. <laughs> Pretty good stuff, eh? It ain't coming out until the can opener strikes it. No, a can Not. of Donnie Loves Moose Meat. This is the final process. This is the final process. So we're gonna be sitting these down in the, in the pot there now. If you wanna give me a hand with those. And then we're gonna probably go for a lunch. Well, this is boiling. So huh? that's can of moose. That's the final process, isn't it? That's it. So glad you guys got out this time. I know. I had a hunt fall time, right? Yeah, I got out to go in the woods with the bog again. That's right. And just to be back here on the ridge, right? That's right. It's just so nice. Good old Kipman's Ridge. Yeah. Want to make up a song? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, right. another Kipman Ridge song. All right, if you want to. Wait, okay. what, what are you going to play? Are you going to play D? All right, I'm going to play Capital. You, you play off out. Okay. Ready? Got back up on the highway to Kippins Ridge, waiting for the bikes to come on their side by sides. I had a moose breakfast in my RV and a nice cup of Tetley tea and oh. To be back here on Kippen's Ridge And oh, what a beautiful place this is Here on Kippen's Ridge And oh, how lucky am I To be back here Tell me about the pirate ghosts. In the nighttime, they say they're, they're no one to be seen out there. Livestock and vegetable gardens and root cellars, and they had it all figured out. Kind of miss it, even though I never had it, but I kind of miss it. Here it is, oh. a fish taco and homemade salsa. 